I was going to make a joke about this being the reason you have children, but to be honest, the amount of work it takes to get them to go and help do something is not a very good reason to have children. <laughs> Child number four, boy number two, has shed a layer. He totally made me laugh. He says, he's getting his boots on without any socks. And I said, hey bud, you might want to put some socks on. And he says, no, if I put socks on, they just fall down and then I have to take off my boot to pull them up. So it's not worth it. I'm just not gonna wear them. And so he's out there without socks. <laughs> For this vlog, I am going to experiment using one of our um, old cameras. It is like a Nikon Coolpix or something, and I just want to test it out, see if I'm going to need a microphone for it, see if the picture quality is any better than my phone. Just going to try it out. And a lot of the times, I can't even tell how good a quality something is until we put it up on our TV to watch. And then suddenly it like pixels out and all sorts of things. So I'm just going to give this a shot. I'm uh, going to go ahead and put it in the video no matter how it looks on um, the replay just to see what I think of it. And I'm going to just tinker with a few things. Uh, today I am going to go over my backpack. I have the Gossamer Gear Gorilla. It is a 40 liter pack. And uh, one of the comments that somebody uh, said was, how do you get all of your stuff in a 40 liter pack? And the answer is pretty easily, actually. Um, there is a ton of room in here, and I don't bring extras. Um, I don't know if you saw my gear video, but the only luxury items that I bring uh, is um, sometimes I'll bring playing cards when I have the kids. I bring hot chocolate, which you know, some people won't consider that as a luxury item. And my sleeping bag is a little bit bigger than most you know, ultralight people would bring. But my backpack is incredible. And one of the cool things about my backpack is it has this, my sit pad built into the back. And so that is one less item that I have to carry because it is built right into there. The next thing that I really, really like about this pack, and this isn't a review necessarily. I think my husband does a really good job of reviewing our gear. I'm just going to tell you things that I like and things that um, I don't like as much, I guess would be the best way to say it. Uh, next thing that I really love about my backpack is this great big mesh pocket out here in the front. It does go down the length of uh, the pack, and so the very bottom of it isn't mesh, so I can put a little bit pointier things down here. The mesh isn't as fine as some of the other backpacks that I have seen, and so that's nice as well. It has nice large um, hip belt pockets, and so I'm able to carry my phone in here. Uh, easily along with any other snacks that I may want in either side. Uh, something that I struggle with with my backpack that I don't like as much, um, I, was, I was carrying the Osprey Aerial before and that's a 65 liter pack and what happened was I found out I just had too much room. It was just too much pack for what I was carrying because our gear has really gotten dialed down the last um, year in particular. Um, and so the aerial allows for a lot of airflow off your back. This rests right on my back. And so, especially when we were out in August on the Appalachian Trail, I had just pools of sweat built up in uh, my sit pad. No big deal really, other than it made my back get hot pretty quickly. Don't like that, but I'm not about to switch packs because of it. I like the weight of this pack. Don't even know what the weight is, to be honest. My husband, when he does his gear review on this, he'll go over all of those things. But um, Anyway, other than that, that is what I really like um, about this Gossamer Gear Gorilla. I know they make um, a, a larger one. I think it's a 50 liter, possibly. I can't remember. It begins with an M. That might work for people as well. Um, but uh, this 40 liter does exactly what I need it to do.
Okay, I have recorded this portion of the video, I think three times. Uh, keep having technical difficulties with it. Uh, that's all I'm going to have this week for this week's video. Uh, I think I'm going to it's experiment with different styles uh, for my weekly videos to see what works best for me, what I want to do with it and stuff. Uh, right now I'm out here at my parents' farm. And it's a winter wonderland, as you can see. <laughs> it was a really good week. Uh, pleased with my weight loss. Um, I have some thoughts on what I'm going to do for goals. And I will put that in next week's video. We are working on hole number two. Getting some ice fishing done. Caleb has wanted Daddy to take him ice fishing for a while now. And it just never worked out last year. And... Today is the first day that it is. We had sunshine earlier and we weren't able to get out here until now. Yeah, we're gonna drill another hole. Make sure this one's pretty deep out. Where do you guys want the next hole? It's not very deep. It's only like three or four feet deep right there. Like Yeah. So I'm saying we drill out here. The ice is about eight inches thick. I think I think so. It's a little chilly. What do you think, babe? Yeah. I'm wishing my auger cut better because it is <laughs> difficult. Yeah, I don't know how deep it is, so I don't know how close I am, but see, it's like slipping. It's not wanting to go. Hi, Gabe. Come on, buddy. Your batter up <laughs> through, and then I'm going to lift it. So uh -oh. Now you can, now uh -oh. you can scoop. Hang on, wait, we'll buddy. Do not drop that. Yeah, if, we, if you lose that, we're, we're yeah. done. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your encouragement. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next week.